What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out another video. It is a Friday, December 15th, and um, I'm working from home today. Got my work laptop over here. Um, obviously I haven't started working from home yet today, but we are working from home because today is the day that I'm actually getting my knee surgery done. So um, I've never had an afternoon surgery. All my surgeries in the past have been in the morning. Um, this one is scheduled for 2.45, so I can't, uh, I can't eat at all today. I can't drink, not even water. Um, they said I could eat before 6.30, but I wasn't going to get up that early to eat. So we're hanging out. We're working until about noon today. Allison is over there. She's off for the day because she's going to be taking me to the surgery center to get the surgery. So um, I don't really have anything to do with you guys until about uh, 1 o'clock when we go to the surgery center. But just wanted to fill you guys in. That's how the day is starting. And um, yeah, should be good. But um, one thing, I had a few people who were hitting me up about uh, the surgery and, you know, um, Everyone's really kind about it, asking about it, being really nice about it, but I do have some people like, oh, don't worry about it, you know, you won't even feel anything, they'll put you to sleep, and uh, I don't think some people realize that this is actually my fifth, fifth surgery due to dirt bike related crashes or whatever, um, surgeries that came forth from dirt bikes. Um, when I was in high school, I crashed out at Travis Bannister's house, who is the cousin of Todd Bannister, who you guys know I talk about pretty often. Both Todd and Travis um, sometimes attempt to race the, su the pro supercrosses. They do the qualifying. They've made it into a few no night programs. I don't think they've ever made main events. Regardless, I was riding out at their house when I was in high school, crashed and dislocated my left shoulder, and I messed up my right shoulder. So all the next year in basketball in high school, my left shoulder kept falling out, but it would dislocate, and then I'd have to go get it popped back in. Um, so I finally got surgery on this one. They had to reattach everything. My rotator cuff was torn. Everything was messed up. And then the, the right one would just, like, pop out and pop back in real quick, so they had to go in and tighten all those ligaments and stuff up. And then um, uh, when I was in college, I was out at my parents' house riding my dirt bike out at their track, and I crashed and broke my wrist, I dislocated it and broke it, and that's why I have that big scar, because I got a plate and pins put in it. And then um, after a while, one of the pins was sticking up and ruptured the tendon that goes to my index finger. So then, um, excuse me, so then they had to go in through the top and um, put those two ligaments together so that I can actually move my middle, or my index finger. I still can't move it all the way, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but like, that's how it should go that's as high as I can move this one. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I can't like fully open it or anything, whatever. But that's why I have that scar and that scar. Then I have a big scar here and little scars here. Regardless, this is my fifth surgery, so I'm uh, semi-familiar with how everything goes. First one on my knee, that's for sure, but it'll be all good. So I wrote a blog about the upcoming surgery on TakeItEasyCO.com, the shirt, the, the site where I have shirts and hoodies and I write blogs and sometimes videos go up early there and stuff, so definitely check it out. But um, So I'm actually looking at that now because I can't remember the name of this thing, how to say it or anything. Let's see, so I'm getting a partial meniscectomy, I don't know. So the meniscus is torn and they're going to like cut off the torn part. So they're not going to take out the whole meniscus, they're not going to like stitch it back together. The part that's torn in uh, how I understand it, so this is the meniscus here and like a part's hanging down, that's the tear right here. So they're going to go ahead and cut off that part and just whoop, so then it'll just be whatever, I don't know. This is the part that's torn, they're just going to cut that off. I don't know, does that make sense? Anyway, that's what they're going to do. And then the ACL, which, let's say this is my femur, this is my tibia, um, the ACL is my index fingers here, so it went whoop and tore. So right now it's just two torn pieces hanging off. They're just going to cut those pieces off. So I won't have an ACL in my leg anymore. In my left knee, I won't have an ACL. And uh, people were asking at first if I could still ride after this. Yeah, definitely. If, if I couldn't ride, I would be getting a, a different alternative. But from how I understand it, this means like that my knee won't be completely stable. I won't be able to play sports like basketball or soccer or I don't know ultimate frisbee where you're like stopping and starting and rotating and stuff because that's when the knee's like going to twist and go side to side and everything and that's when I can run into a problem but with dirt bikes since it's mostly just up and down um, you're not like actually on your feet of course you're on the pegs but you're not running on your feet and stopping and accelerating and stuff that my knee shouldn't have an issue so that's the route we elected to go see how that goes and um, I'm pretty excited about it because I've been living without an ACL you know since it's been torn I've been doing this for what five weeks now or a month now or something like that so I think it'll be all good but um, should be a pretty quick surgery they said like 15 to 20 minutes just to go in there and cut some things out 
and hopefully recovery will, will be quick because I actually don't have anything that needs to heal back together. It's not like they're stitching something together that then like needs to um, solidify in there and they're not like screwing in a new ACL into the bones and the bones have to uh, calciumize or whatever it's called to hold everything in. It's just going to be cutting off that piece of the meniscus and then the incision where they actually go into my knee will have to heal even though it'll be a little one it still has to heal. It's probably shaking because sore is coming up to the GoPro. Um, so then the incision and just swelling in general because of course when they're going to um, cut you open you're going to swell some. But after all that, like it should be a pretty quick recovery. It's not like it'll be six to eight months for sure. Maybe like one to two months or something. So we'll see what the doctor says today, what the surgeon says today. But I'm pretty excited to get this all done and get it taken care of. And um, I guess one last thing I forgot to mention because I was trying to do this the other day and I never ended up doing it. But um, what you're seeing right now is footage from a new GoPro. So hopefully you can see yourself there. It is a GoPro Hero 5 Black. Boom. Um, it's actually a used one from my buddy Mike, Big Cat Racing. Um, he didn't feel like he was getting the most out of it, so he sold it to me for a very good price. So, new camera, I'm pretty excited for it. Hopefully everything looks good. I'm just recording in 2.7K right now. I'm not doing the full 4K. Maybe we'll dabble with it down the road, but um, regardless, that's what's going on today. I gotta get to, uh, gotta, gotta get logged into my work stuff and crank out a little bit of work, and I'll catch up with you guys when we're, we're on our way to the surgery center. Be warned, I might be hangry because I'm not going to be able to eat until then. <laughs>a pretty nice setup for working from home here. I have my PC with my two monitors so I'm actually like doing work on there. And then I have my work laptop here where I can get onto the VPN and connect and have my email and everything. So I'm using this for a little bit. I have this mouse and the keyboard for that and then my normal mouse and the keyboard writing content for, um, for clients. Um, if you guys want to know more about my job, Day with Dio 100 is a Day with Dio at my job. I talk more about it there. You can go check that out. But um, I do social media, so I'm just writing content for these clients. So that's what's going on here. It's only uh, 9.48, so still got a while to go until uh, we head to the doctor. All right, guys, we are on the way to the surgery center. Allison is so kindly driving us. you got to have something with you when you go. So, um, yeah, headed there now. Should be good. It's um, almost 1 o'clock. we got to be there at 1.15, so we'll be right on time. Perfect timing. Um, haven't ate, as I told you guys, so definitely feeling hungry. Allison and I have already been planning what we're going to get after the surgery. I think we're going to get wings, so I'm super excited for that. But, um, yeah, go get this knocked out. Um, that's about it, so I'll check in with you guys when we get there and see how everything's lining up. Coming up to the hospital, surgery center, whatever now. So, turn it right here and do it. Conifer building, that's where we're headed. When you go to get surgery, it's always exciting because you can pretty much wear pajamas. So like, Allison is in boots and jeans and stuff. And I'm in sweats and slippers, so who's the real winner here? That's a good point. So, Going on into the surgery center now and uh, get this uh, ACL cut on out. It should be good. Hey guys, I am editing the video right now and I'm realizing that I'm doing something wrong with the new GoPro as I'm holding my uh, Dango Designs mount and moving it around. Um, it is squeaking, it is like that noise and I'm really sorry you guys keep hearing that it is driving me crazy I'm sure it's driving you guys crazy I'll have to work on that so uh, my next video Murphy's trying to play with me right now so my next video doesn't have that I really apologize I can't do anything about it you know retroactively but I'm, I'm sorry because it's really frustrating but carry on all right, so we just checked in had all the paperwork you always got to sign an initial and date and then we had to pay Um, then you have to pay, of course, so yes, even with insurance, you still have to pay co-insurance, but right now I'm just hanging out with the kids. There's not too much to play with here. Just don't want to be like awkwardly talking out there, but, um, so we got some time to wait, and then they'll call us back to, uh, go get the IV, and then start the, um, drug, the anesthesia, and then go get this, uh, ACL clipped out, and the meniscus cleaned up, so I'm just excited to be getting it done. Not really nervous, just 
annoyed, annoyed because I'm hungry, but, um, and I'm kind of annoyed because I don't know what's going to happen with work, like, when I'm not at work, I'm not getting my work done, and I just hope that my coworkers are able to handle the stuff that I need doing, so that's just kind of the, the stress that's on, and nothing with the surgery, I know I'm just going to go fine, so I'm going to go sit back out there with Allison and hang out, and then um, probably bring you guys with to the back room when they uh, start hooking me up, and uh, check out a sweet, sweet gown that I assume they'll put me in, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. waiting for everything to get started get the uh, IV going here and uh, get the show on the road I guess I, I mean I if you want to wait for me I can I can't right now I'm putting an IV in anything I'll warn you here one two three poke good vein I know. good veins good bleed. good uh, Nurse, doctor, I don't know what your group considers. Good nurse. Mile Is it the road? trails or? Uh, uh, no, track. Yeah. yeah. It's just like right on the side of the mountain there. Yeah. And it's where they have the uh, actual pro races yeah. too. So. Gotcha. So anyone can access that and ride it? Yeah, you uh, 20 bucks gets you in. If, you, if you're a spectator, you can go for free. But yeah, gotcha. show up with a bike, 20 bucks, and uh, do your thing. So. Right on. That's a lot of fun. Next step, I gotta shave your knee just uh, above your. I like I guess below the thigh, okay. uh, mid calf. Alright, sounds good. Just grab it up. We'll bring your wife back here. Awesome. We just got the uh, IV put under my arm. So if you looked away during that, I know my dad did. <laughs> um, that's all done now. I won't show it again. Um, not on purpose anyway, but now uh, they're going to have to shave my left leg. So uh, get it all ready. So we got Chris here, and he's getting taken care of. Anything you need to say, Chris? That's <laughs> right. They're going to grab Allison to hang out until the, the surgeon is ready, and then we'll get going. So they put the IV in. They shaved my left knee so that uh, there's no hair in the way or whatever. Oh, but they shaved the left knee, and uh, all set now. So it should be good. It's really nice to do You guys know what you're doing. I'm very aware. <laughs> yeah, it's very routine for us. Yeah, right. For you. It's crazy to think about. Like you guys are probably just knocking these out left and right all day long. Yeah, we did a right, and then this is left. Well, like literally. <laughs> 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 That's great. A little nicer if they keep them all right, left, right in a row, but that's okay. Mix it up a little bit. All right, guys. We just finished up. It's uh, 4:07 p.m. Uh, literally just woke up um, eight minutes ago. <laughs> Um, definitely hurts, it's crazy. Last thing I remember, they transferred me to the operating room. They start pumping the stuff in through the IV, which you can feel like the chill coming through your arm. And then they put the gas mask on me, and just out. So, um, we're up now. Mark got me some water, so, uh, the knee hurts. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the knee hurts, like, a lot. Like, you feel like the cut on the front of it, it's pretty sore, but, um coming to you. Uh, they took off the um, oxygen in my nose. It was really cold. It's the kind of thing, like, it's weird when you wake up, like, you're kind of, like, half asleep, half awake still. I think they were telling me to keep it in. I think I was trying to pull it out. Maybe I'm delirious. I don't know. But, uh, so, yeah, it sounds like everything went well. Waiting to hear confirmation from the doctor. Not so good. Um, everything seemed to go well, so... Got myself some water. Knee hurts. Any anything you need to say, Mark? No. Should be good. So um, we got some crutches over there. Um, got some crutches. The um, nurse assistant or the doctor surgeon's assistant 
said I could use those to get up the stairs and everything tonight, but the surgeon said, I bet you won't even use them, so we'll see, but um, still, still feeling good, I guess, but all good, and um, I guess I'll update you guys as we uh, head on out and get to So we got some photos. These ones don't look like they really show too awfully much. Um, I'm sure the doctor will go over with me, but I think that might be the meniscus tear here, that like jut right there. So they would have like trimmed that out. Um, and I think that's what it looks like now. I gotta double check, and I'm assuming this is the ACL and all that like, it looks almost like cotton or something. That's because the ACL is just torn all the way through. So, got some cool photos of it. I'm sure you guys will be seeing those on social media soon enough, but uh, finish up in their recovery room here and then uh, get on out of here. So, um, like I've mentioned, this is my fifth surgery for motocross-related stuff. I feel like some surgeries, they have you, like, in the initial room, and they put the IV in and stuff, and they put you to sleep. Great, thank you. Uh, you're um, they put you to sleep before you go back into the operating room, but this one I was awake for, like, the ride to the operating room, then I moved beds, and then they actually put me to sleep, so, um... Sometimes it's like they put you to sleep right away, and sometimes they get you into the operating room, which is kind of cool. You're in there, and you can see everything going on in there before they knock you out. So that's how this one was. And, uh, and pretzels. And pretzels. <laughs> All right, so we're just going through Snapchat. Everyone's been really cool, just wishing me good luck before the surgery. Now um, I, I posted on my story that everything is good and we're out. So just hitting up lots of people. It's always cool to have the awesome support, so I really appreciate that. I appreciate that from you guys. And uh, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, it's at Return of Dio. Make sure you uh, follow me. I'll have it like snap code on the screen. But yeah, so we're coming to you. I'm probably going to get out of here relatively quickly. You too. So with the crutches, you don't want to be putting your weight on your armpits. Okay. You want to be putting all your weight on your hands. Okay. This is funny because I'm going to record. Yeah. I don't want to wait till next Wednesday. Okay. Perfect. Good. Sounds good. Okay. Man. Great. Appreciate okay. it. Yeah, we'll see. You, okay. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you very problem, much. Okay. All right. Definitely. Great. Take care of your nurse. Okay. Eat up your pouch. Yeah, you remember, oh, you can ask him if it's really because uh -huh. he's not buying it. Yeah, I'm going to go back and <laughs> throw more. I had to take a break. Now he's lying. Don't even. <laughs> I needed a break. I had to go eat some dinner. Now you're going to get me in trouble. Now you're going to get me in trouble. Now you're going to get me in trouble. Right. Okay, go back again. Yeah, I want to find it. You got a little arthritis there, okay? Oh, fine. Oh, I thought you were just going to keep going. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Catch up with you at the car. <laughs> hey, again, you can put oh. weight on it as, as much as you can tolerate. Okay. But now you know how to use the crutches. Yeah, perfect. I appreciate that. Sweet. All right. Cool beans. I'll show you how to sit in the car or to the car. And then um, I'll wheel the chair here. I'll wheel you out. Okay. Can I hit the restroom before we proceed? Oh, yes. 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 Alright guys, we are in Allison's car and headed home. We're actually going to stop by the pharmacy, pick up uh, my prescription of, what was it? Norco? Narco. Narco? Narco? I don't think that's right. Something like that. It's, um, she totally could have made that again. We're going to be here until I die, I think. Oh my god, why is this person going so slow? <laughs> Can I drive? No, you can't. I can't drop. Okay, I'm just you messing. I'm just, I'm just being rude for the GoPro. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so, I'll turn that off. That'll help. You probably can't see me now. But, um, yeah, get, going to go get the prescription. We're going to go get some food. I had some pretzels after the surgery, which was nice because, as you can imagine, pretty dang hungry after not eating all day. Um, I'm going to go get some light on my face. So, um... Yeah, it sounds like everything went well. Met with the doctor just real quickly at the end there um, to go over some stuff. And uh, 
got the crutches and should be good. I'm, I'm already able to put weight on it. They said like put weight uh, load bearing as I can tolerate it and I think I'll be coming around real quick. So meet with the doctor again next Friday to go over everything and see how it's all healing up and he said he was thinking like three to four weeks that uh, I was going to be like kind of off of it or limited on it. So hopefully a real quick recovery and turnaround and before you guys know we'll be back shredding. So um I think I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it off there because like I said, we're just picking up the prescription, get some food and you guys probably don't care about that. So I really appreciate you guys checking out the video, hanging out with uh, me during this, uh, this day. And again, like I've said the past few days, sticking with the channel while all this is going on, really appreciate it you guys. So um, as always, until next time, take it easy and if it's easy, take it twice. I'll talk to you later. Oh.